Hi, Scissorin here with another video and today I wanted to make a video about a really cool change. This is something I wanted for a very long time and that is this line. What it lets us do is break down one of the in-game race rewards and turn it into a permanent microtransaction as something you bought from the store so you could use it not just in that league, which most, most of us now have those on standard, but you can actually use it on your league character. Now, this is definitely going to be a little bit of a flex video as well. I'm going to talk about what are races, how did we get these race rewards, what are they, which ones do I have, and which ones am I turning into cosmetics. But I've, it's, I'm so excited about this feature. So, Path of Exile used to have race events very regularly. Um, there would be one per season, and there has been quite a lot. So, the first one I played in was Season 5. Now, back when this was a thing... I looked at the prices of all these items and I was like, they're like 1C. Why would I care? But this was really important. This was very expensive, that league. And obviously very expensive later on because the it had legacy stats on it. Um, so yeah, no, I uh, I thought this was stupid, but I grinded out to here and then I was like, cool, got it. Now, obviously, this is one of the more cooler ones as well. But all of these things, they are the same items for the most of the time but they have different skins. And that is what we're now able to basically delete this storm cloud and turn it into a bow MTX that you can use in the future or delete this Fairgrave Strike one and turn it into a helmet MTX. Now, this is obviously very cool because a lot of us that did earn these back in the day now have loads of additional MTX to play with. And I am also hoping that this will make it something that GGD will start doing again because the race season was, well, it's the entire reason why I do Gauntlet and it was one of my favorite things in the game. Um, and back here, I actually could have gone for this. I think this is like 10 mirrors now or something, but um, yeah, I didn't know. And then later on, started racing a lot more and actually started going for like the, the higher ones and uh, did start getting like, I think at this point I got my like first rank one. And here I started having a lot of rank ones. First duelist, why? Um, and they were actually really cool, very different races back then. We had something called um, Descent and uh, Mistress Descent. Uh, there were two like different ones. Oh, Descent Champions, those were called. Um, and they were so cool. They were like basically like roguelike games. You had like a new character, you made some different choices, had special uniques. You even got a mirror halfway through to mirror a ring. And uh, yeah, it was like a very, very cool game mode. And we would get these like altered ones. And we would also get something called Demigods. So all of these like remove tabs are races that I've won. So like for example here, this is a demigod that's for getting a rank 1 class thing. Um, there is something called alternate art demigods as well, which are worth even more because they are um, even more special. So we will be able to turn these into cosmetics as well, which is very, very exciting, I think. Probably also means that the price of them is going to go up quite a lot. So on some of these, it will actually say what rank you got, especially the uh, different ones. Like this one, so rank one assassin. So that's an alt art of that chest. Uh, and there's a lot of different ones there. Um, here is another tab of like more alt art things I have. So there's like a Ayochayula, a Yunom Nom. Um, some of these, these two at least are presents from friends of mine. Uh, I think I bought one demigod's eye. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't play back then. And the other one, Garatha gave me one. Um, and then the Alpha Howl I bought for three thousand exalted orbs. That's probably the thing I have. That's like the craziest value. So I have like, and, and all of these things like make you larger. That's why my character is so big. I wonder if they're gonna keep the size part because obviously that's a big part of it. Now, if it doesn't keep the size part, I might not break down the demigod's presence and stuff, because the amulet skin, I don't know if it's cool enough without the size, but the size part is so important. But yeah, I'm assuming that we won't get the character size, but either way, we will get things like the alpha house skin and things like that. As for how much this is worth right now, it might have gone up a little bit in price. I think the last time I looked, it was 70 mirrors on standard. So right now, the only one online is 879 mirrors. Um, I honestly have no idea what the price is going to be, if people are even going to sell them. Um, and the reason for that is there's so few of these left. So this is listed two years ago, but that guy might not have been online. 
it's a little bit hard to tell. It's worth whatever someone's willing to pay for it. I think very few people are going to sell one, but uh, they are a few hundred mirrors, most likely. Um, the one I'm the most excited for, Cloak of Flames, that was the first one I bought. I bought that for 390 Exalted Orbs, which is super cheap. Obviously, all of these are very many mirrors now, um, but I'm very excited to turn that into a cosmetic. I actually have a painting of this in my living room. But I think it's really cool. And I think the coolest looking one is probably Taste to Hate. A lot of people don't like that as much because other people can't see that. But as a streamer, I think um, that is the coolest one. So very excited to get some of these new MTXs on actually like usable in this tab here. Um, yeah, just very much looking forward to it. And I do have some things on, on actual Hardcore League too that I'm going to break down and turn into MTX. And... Uh, Probably post this video a little bit after the patch has actually gone live with the footage of me turning it into MTX, which you're probably about to see now. But I'm in the past, so I don't know that yet. We're going to say goodbye to to my largeness with these, well, wearing them in this way. Convert race reward. Okay, what do I care about the least? Probably this. Do I have it like this? This item will be destroyed and you'll be granted an account bound microtransaction. Destroy my item. Wow. Alright. This is definitely a little bit of a, a weird and a little bit strangely emotional moment. I saved up. I, uh, I wanted to buy one of these because it was the most expensive sellable uh, alt art. So I farmed five mirrors in like six or seven days of grinding because I was the only person in one league that could kill Uber and Ziri. So I made hella money. I'm now going to destroy it. This is worth... Literally, there's only a few listed for 100 and 300 mirrors. I'm going to permanently lock it to my account. Holy. I wanted this for so long. That's so cool. That's so cool. This was my first one that I bought that I hadn't earned myself. I bought it for very cheap, like 300, 400 Exalted Orbs. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite out of all of them. This is also like 400 Exalted Orbs. Oh, I'm so happy that worked. That was the one I was the most worried about. This is so cool. I'm getting so many cool MTXs. I'm so scared of doing anything wrong. But I've done, I've done all the most important ones now. I was never able to get the alternate style there. That's a demigod. <gasps> Wait. I think I just destroyed that last one. Or did I not? No, I did. Oh, thank fuck. Ah, oh, I, I thought I just destroyed it. What was it? No, I, I thought I just stopped to destroy. But it, it worked. My heart. I, I thought I fucked up. But I didn't. I was getting too, too into it. That's so cool. Now I can log on Hardcore Necropolis and use these MTXs. Well, that was the MTX my Undisputed was using. Um, so now, oh my god, that's so nice. Oh, it looks so cool too. Holy. That's so cool. Awesome. I have these as, uh, oh man. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna get so many questions. What? <gasps> I can use it on any skin. I love everything. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so many questions about what I'm using, but it's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, I, I realize I'll get a lot of questions. Oh, but that's so cool. So, even what they said was, um, there's an only an issue with alt art demigods. But these aren't the alt art ones. These are the actual demigods. So, from what I understand, the issue is with these. I think the issue is with these. Because this is an alt art demigod. This is a demigod. All right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's science. And it works with size. That's the coolest thing ever. Oh my god, it works. 
Oh my god, it works. This is the coolest thing ever. I love the game. Please say this works. Oh my god, please. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love everything. Oh my god, the game is so much better now. I love you, chat. For those that don't know the story behind this amulet, this is the only thing that was out of my own reach. It was the only thing that was out of my own reach. Somebody in chat asked, is there any alt art, any skin? So, by the way, for those that don't know what these are, these are in-game skins that you can buy from other players. So they are not like the ones you buy from GGD. Um, so they are just a cosmetic item. But somebody asked, is there any skin on standard that you don't have yet? And I was like, well, the only one I care about, well, it's Queen's Decree. Um, but I, I don't care. That's like very like a three out of 10 caring. Um, but Demigod's Presence this is the one I really wanted. And people were like, how much is it? And I was like, I don't know. It's like 200 mirrors, 300 mirrors, something like that. I can't remember. We have a video about it. And someone said, I have mirrors on standard. I don't play standard and I'm never going to use it. It's just kind of raw. It's just an MDX. Why, why don't I just like give you that? And you can, yeah, it's 46 mirrors. Sorry, not 200. It was 46 mirrors. And we spent 10 hours with people just handing me out stuff on standard. So this isn't stuff that affects the gameplay at all. It's just this amulet. I usually don't take handouts. Uh, but since it was a cosmetic thing, so chat basically bought me a skin in the game. And it took eight hours of people just giving me stuff. So people were giving me things, giving me exalted orbs, divine orbs, headhunters, mage bloods, uh, taste of hits, just everything. And then we actually managed to buy it. And like even doing the trade took like an hour. Uh, 200 or 300 or 46, dude, the standard economy is that fucked. But, ah, uh, this is so special to me now. I'm going to wear that on every character. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sub if you like it. Let me know if you have any cool race rewards in the comments down below and if you really enjoyed this patch as much as I did. But either way, sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.